Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to a brand new video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a new optimized uh, HODL miner, which has recently been released by a Wolf uh, Zero. Um, I showed you one already, and that was um, optimized for CPUs with the uh, AES uh, instruction set. And this one is based upon that one. It's a new revised version, and it's good for CPUs with the AES-NI instruction set. So if you've got a CPU that's um, up to just a, a couple of years old, anything from sort of um, around 2010 onwards, um, this uh, miner will be a better option for you. And there is other mining um, parts that are available, but this is a new one, so I'm gonna uh, show you that actual process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remotely log into a uh, machine that actually has a CPU. The, uh, let's get started on that. Uh, the actual CPU in that is a AMD A10 7700K. Um, and that's overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz. Um, I have had it running at four, but recently I've just slowed it down just a little bit, um, just for some um, stability issues. It's getting uh, rather hot in that actual um, workspace. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna work, uh, log in, and then I will um, share this with you. Okay, so I've just logged in. Um, I'm just gonna close some of these other things that are going on in the background. So we've got the MSR afterburner. We've got the ETH miner, we'll close that. And then we've got the uh, Blago burst coin miner. So I'm just gonna close that as well. Um, I've already given the, um, the application a quick run through and um, just got a brief sort of look at it. Um, but I'll share it now. So if we go to the uh, HODL folder, which is where I downloaded and saved the, uh, the actual binary files to. Be able to show you guys. Um, there is just like a little bit of lag between because I'm um, using a remote login via Team Viewer. Okay, so uh, in the HODL uh, folder itself, we've got all the old stuff. Um, what I'll do is just for a um, comparison, we've got this HODL miner here. Um, let's actually run it. Um, check the batch file first. Uh, okay, yeah, so they've got HODL miner and then the pool. Um, and then the work details. And at the end, this is kind of, a, with the regular batch files, you probably won't actually have this. Um, I've added this extra, and so it's just, uh, this is basically a switch. So it's dash T and then it's free. So what it's um, instructing is that just to use free CPU threads. Um, by default, that would be removed, and then it will just use all uh, threads. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is, just gonna change that to four, and hopefully the machine doesn't lock up um, I think I was running it before with three threads, um, just because where I'm uh, remoted in, um, and I don't want the machine to uh, lock up, basically, because um, it means I'll have to pop down the road and check it out. But anyway, so let's try the actual old um, uh, Wolf Zero Miner first and see how that compares. So we're running it on four threads, and let's just wait for that to get going. Okay, so we're just coming up now um, onto the, uh, there it is there. That's the 10th uh, uh, accepted share. So the actual hash rate has been between 55 and 65 mostly. So if we just call it um, 60 hashes per second, that'll be a fairly good um, average there. So that's with the old uh, miner running on four threads. So I'm just gonna close that now and let's try the uh, new one and see how that compares. So in this one, you'll see there's, um, a whole bunch of like different binaries. Um, so the standard one is the HODL miner. That should be good for pretty much um, anyone, um, re regardless of what CPU you've got. Then you've got these other HODL miner, this BD ver one, BD ver two, and three. These are for uh, these are optimized binaries for anyone with an AMD bulldozer chip. So uh, I'll show you how to edit your config file in a minute. Um, but if you've got a bulldozer CPU, you might want to try each of these different ones to see which one gives the best performance. Um, I tried it with, I know I don't actually have a um, bulldozer CPU, uh, but I tried uh, running through them and I think the third one was the best one for my particular um, chip, which is like say uh, an AMD A10 7700K. Uh, okay. um, 
if you're on Intel, you've got these other ones which are obviously more uh, clearly to identify. So you've got Haswell, uh, Sandy Bridge, and Silvermont, and Westmere. So just use whichever binary is the most um, one that is relevant for you. Or test out the other ones. You might you know might find that they're um, better optimized for you. Um, so then what you want to do is, uh, let's scroll down a little bit. You can see I've done some previous um, testing. Um, just go to the pull-start bat file. We go and edit it. And then we've got hodlminer.exe. So where that hodlminer.exe is, just change that to um, you know whatever uh, binary that you actually want to use. So the actual um, exe. So hodlminer dash, uh, for example, uh, bd ver free. Um, you know you just change and save that, and then run that as it was. Um, I'm just going to use the um, the standard one at first, and then I might just check the other ones as well. Um, so just changing on the end as well uh, for four threads and all the other details are the same so let's just save that and we'll give that a quick run through and see how it compares okay so we're coming up now on the 10th uh, accepted share you can see there on uh, 9 and 10 will come through just in a moment um, all of the actual hash rates per shares They've all been above 60. Most of them um, have been around the sort of 65 sort of mark. Um, so I'd say, yeah, probably about 65 um, hashes per second for this particular sort of miner. So that looks about to be about 10% um, faster than the previous one, between 5 and 10% sort of faster. Um, that last hash come through quite quick there, but the other ones were all a bit more of, more of an average, more in the 65 sort of range. Um, so what I'm going to do as well is I'll just test the other, this uh, BD Vera 3, which is one I tested on three threads uh, previously, and I think that was giving me the best, uh, best results. So let's try that as well. Um, let me just let one more share go through, because that one just come through at almost um, 80. Uh, another one at 70, yeah. So maybe just a little bit touch faster. Obviously, uh, the longer you leave it running, you're going to get a better um, average, and you can use that for your actual uh, judgment, okay? Okay, so that's had plenty of time to run now. Um, just uh, popped out for a sec there. So um, yeah, between 65 and sometimes up to over and above uh, 70 as well. So that's um, a pretty good sort of um, standard there. So let's close that and we'll try the uh, uh, the bulldozer version three version now. So uh, just double check. Um, let's change that to what's it? Uh, BD for three. And then we'll just save that. Okay, so let's try the version number three now and see how that compares. Okay, so this version has been running for um, a couple of minutes now. We've just gone over um, 10 shares, um, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15 actually. Um, so Throughout that sort of a period of time, um, the hash rate has been just under about 70, sometimes going a little bit over. Um, it just slowed down a little bit there, but um, it started off, yeah, sort of 67s and 70s. Um, now it's just slowed down a little bit for some reason. So, But I think this one is actually just like a ver faster version. Um, I'd have to leave it running for, you know, at, at least 30 minutes or so, something like that, to get a, a much better judge of exactly how it performs over a, over a longer term. And I'd recommend that you do that as well. Um, so yeah, that's it for this uh, particular video, guys. I just wanted to share um, this particular new version uh, minor with you, um, how it performs and you know the results that you can kind of expect. Um, as always, if you've got any questions or comments, um, just leave those in the comments box below. Um, doesn't necessarily have to re relate specifically to this uh, video. If you've got any sort of generalized comments, then you know just uh, comment and uh, I will be sure to get back to you guys. So thanks again for watching. Um, hopefully you found this uh, useful. Uh, Till next time, guys, uh, take care.